Long ago and far away, a beautiful woman named Belle befriended a beast who lived in an enchanted castle. Now that castle is alive with activity in preparation for a special event. There is much work to be done. You've arrived just in time. Oh, a guest! How exciting! Please type in your name here. If you've been to the castle before, just click on your name, then click on the rose. Type in your name. Oh, how exciting! Belle will be so glad to see you. Lumiere Cogsworth, this is wonderful. You're sure the Beast doesn't know we're planning a surprise party for him? We have maintained the utmost secrecy. I adore surprise parties. They're so surprising. And so much work. We've got to prepare the ballroom, set the table, create the invitations. Oh, settle down, Cogsworth. You're getting yourself all wound up again. Lumiere is right, Cogsworth. Everything will be fine. Quelle chance! Visitors! Help has arrived! This is perfect! With your help, we'll get ready for the party in no time. And then, once the ball starts, you can be our guest! Well, let's get ticking then. Time is of the essence. Allow us to show you around our <laughs> humble abode. There's fun to be had in every room of the castle. Simply click on the door and in you go. Go ahead and explore the kitchen, the ballroom, the library, and the garden. There are different things to do in every room. But remember to stay away from the West Wing. The master must not be disturbed. Belle, the secret passages. Oh, that's right. Be sure to keep your eyes open for secret passages. They'll take you from one room to another. And when you're ready to leave a room, just click on the magic mirror and you'll come back here to the foyer. When you're ready to leave the castle entirely, return here to the foyer and click on the mirror. So, select a room and away we will go. Exit. If you're sure you want to leave, click on the mirror again. If you'd like to stay, just click anywhere else. Credits. The garden writing desk. Cogsworth's library missed the ballroom. The West Wing. Mrs. Potts' tea time table. The West Wing. The West Wing. The West Wing. The West Wing. The oh, he's sleeping. We better keep quiet so we don't wake him. <laughs> we wouldn't want to ruin the surprise. Mrs. Potts. Mama, Mama! What is it, Chip? We need to get ready for the party. But look who's here! Oh, hello, love. Chip and I were just setting the table for the master's party. We have different settings for tea, dinner and dessert. There's so much to do. Would you be a dear and help us? To see how you would do it, look under the plate cover over there. All you have to do is move the dishes and their contents from the cupboard shelves to the table in the right order. Just click on an item to move it down to the placemat. We'll need four place settings for each course. <laughs> and it gets harder with each course. For tea, you only need five pieces, but for dessert, you need seven. Oh, and try not to break anything, okay? Click on the plate cover to change the course you want to build. Good luck, dear. Click on the timer to begin, or to return to the foyer, click on the magic mirror. Let's go!
We've got to work even faster. Come on, you can do it. Oh my, what fine work. That's it. Splendid. You're really good. Three down, one to go. Oh dear, oh dear. That was perfect. You did it. And it all looks so grand. I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, Mama. Let's go to the next course. Great. The tea is ready to go. Excellent. All we need now is the main course and dessert. To change to a new course, click on the plate cover again. Set. Return to the foyer. You can make it in time. I just know it. Oh dear, oh dear. That was perfect. Two finished. Three down, one to go. All full complete. without cracking a single dish. Okay, one more course and we're ready for the party. All we have left now is the dessert. Yum! Dessert, my favorite. To change to a new course, click on the plate cover again. Dessert, my favorite. Start again. Come now, dear. We've got to hurry. Thank <laughs> you. 
My, 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 we don't have much time left, do we? Hurry up, dear. Two finished. Three down, one to go. Well done. You're a regular speed demon, you are. Fine work. Lumiere, can you come here, please? Yes. Oh, what an elegant table. All it needs is atmosphere. We're all done. By Jove, we are. I suppose the food is all ready for the party now. Oh, lovey, we were having such fun. Are you sure you want to go back to the foyer? If you do, click again on... See you in a little while then. Toodaloo. <laughs> You've done excellent work so far, but we are not finished yet. There are still a few rooms to prepare. The Belle's writing desk. Belle's Welcome to the garden. This is where the beautiful stained glass windows in the castle are created. We can make art, create new windows, or even write party invitations for our friends. Each time you come back here, you'll be able to see the latest artwork you've created. Why don't you join me? If you want to paint a picture, choose a background here. If you'd like to make a stained glass window, choose a design here. Once you've created a stained glass window, click here to light it up. To add pictures to your backgrounds, choose a sticker here. If you'd like to make party invitations, click on the card. To see one of your drawings, click on a color tack. To start a new drawing, click on a white tack. To clear the page, click on the paper holder. If you want to erase what you just did, Click on the feather. When you're ready to print, click here. If you want to go back to the foyer, click here. Be as creative as you want. I can hardly wait to see your work. Why, that's the perfect place for... You're quite an artist. Why, that's the perfect place for... I didn't 
know you had so much talent. Fantastic! That's a wonderful picture! You're quite an artist! If you'd like to bring back what you just erased, click on the feather again. To clear the page, click again. Would you like to go back inside? If so, click again on the mirror. If you'd like to stay out here, click anywhere else. Bye-bye. I'll see you soon. Here you are. <laughs> You've done excellent work so far, but we are not finished yet. There are still a few rooms to prepare. Bonjour, mon ami. We are so happy to see you. We need your expert help on a matter of great mystery. Perhaps I should explain the conundrum. In order to surprise the master, we must enter the West Wing. Unfortunately, he has hidden the key in one of these books. Only Cogsworth doesn't remember which book it's hidden behind. I wrote it down in secret code. Secret even to you! Come closer, and we'll explain how to find the key to the West Wing. I need you to choose questions about the book where the key is hidden. 
I'll find the answer from the secret codes. Then you can eliminate the books that do not fit the answer. For example, click on the book of clues. And I will ask you, is it a blue? And I will answer. If I say yes, you can rule out all the books that are not blue by clicking on the red stripe on the book covers. If I say no, it is not a blue book, then you can dispose of all the blue books. But guess wisely. Speaking of guesses, you may, if you wish, try to guess which book is the mystery book by clicking on the green stripe. But be careful. If you guess incorrectly, you lose a clue. This is precisely why I advise you to guess wisely. We only have a limited number of questions. You can tell how many clues you have by looking at the roses. If they are red, you can still ask more questions. And at each level, you will need to identify the mystery book to get a section of the key. Once you complete all three levels, we will have the complete key to the West Wing. If you want to change the level, click... If you want to go back to the foyer, click here. Let's get started then, shall we? Cogsworth, is the character on the book wearing a scarf? Let me see. Yes, it is wearing a scarf. Questions! Questions! Cogsworth, is the character on the book wearing a scarf? Yes, it is wearing a scarf. Return to the... Return to the... Cogsworth, is the character on the book wearing a scarf? Yes, it is wearing a scarf. Questions. Are you certain about this book? If so, click on the green stripe again. Well done, we are on our way. You have found the first piece of the key. Well done. This level can be tricky. Here we go, level two. Cogsworth, is the character on the book wearing a scarf? Uh, no. No scarf. Yes? So, you think this is the mystery book? Are you certain about this book? If so, click on the green stripe. Cogsworth, is the character on the book wearing a scarf? Uh, no. No scarf. Are you formidable? Two down, one to go. Are you certain about this book? If so, click on the green stripe again. Splendid! You have found the second section of the key. The toughest level by far. You can do it. Level three, guess. Are you sure you'd like to start over? Click Cogsworth. Is the character on the book wearing a scarf? Uh, no. No scarf. Questions. Does it have wings? No, there are no wings, apparently. We have only three questions left. Mon ami, can you see if this character is wearing glasses? It says quite clearly this character is not wearing glasses. Mm, mm, no. Mon ami, we have but two questions left. Is the back 
background orange. Let us see, let us see. Ah, uh, no. Oui, oui, we have arrived at our final question. Pull the book back. Click here to turn the page for the next clue. Is the background blue? Why, it's as blue as the summer sky. So, you think this is the mystery book, hmm? If so, click on the green stripe again. Oh, dear. Apparently... Oh, drat. Do not give up, please. May we try again? Questions. Is the background... Why, it's as blue as the summer sky. Can you see if this character is wearing glasses? It says quite clearly this character is not wearing glasses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. We have only three questions left. Questions. Does it have wings? No, there are no wings, apparently. Mon ami, we have but two questions left. The character on the book, does it have big teeth? Uh, um, uh, yes. There are teeth. Big ones, too. Oui, oui. We have arrived at our final question. So, you think this is the mystery book, hmm? If so, click on the green stripe again. The key is ours. I knew I could count on you. You've won! If you want to start the game again, click here. Otherwise, click on the arrow to go back to the foyer. We still have plenty to do to prepare for the ball. Return. Select the magic mirror to return to the foyer. If you'd like to return to the game, click on the bookshelf. To the foyer. A bientôt. Farewell. See you soon. I cannot believe how much you have done. We are almost ready for the party. Just one more room and the party can begin. There is so much to do before the dance can begin. We'd better get ticking. Oh, Belle knows dozens of dances. There is nothing to worry about. Well, we know a few dances, but I want this to be special. We need to decorate the ballroom, pick out the right outfits and instruments, and create a special new dance for the big surprise party. Oh, maybe our friend can help. Good idea, Lumiere. Would you help me get the ballroom ready for the surprise party? And when you're done, we can put it all together. Click here to choose my ball gown. Click here to choose the steps for the dance. Click here to prepare the music. When you're all finished, you can click on the doors behind me to start the dance. If you'd like to leave the ballroom, click on the magic mirror. Shall we? There's no time to lose. Create a dance. Woo! 
Are you ready to select some stunning evening wear? Of course you are! Belle's gowns are all in here! Choose a dress to see the whole outfit. If you like it, click on the picture of Belle to select it and return to the ballroom. Oh, that certainly is a pretty dress. Oh, that dress is so beautiful. Oh, that certainly is a pretty dress. I was hoping to get a better look at that dress. Let's take a closer look. Won't that look spectacular on Belle? Belle is going to look absolutely stunning. Oh, see you back in the ballroom. I love the dress you've chosen. Once we choose the instruments and the dance moves for the ball, we'll be ready to go. Choose the chair to prepare the music, or click on the dance floor to select the steps for the dance. Prepare the Click on any musician to hear him play an instrument. Click on a musician again to change his instrument. Each musician can play one of three different instruments. Oh, what talented fellow! Once you've selected instruments for all of the musicians, click on the sheet music. Click on any of them to get started. A lovely melody. It will be very nicely for the party. Thank you. Wonderful music for a ball. I can't wait to hear them play this at the... Delightful stuff. Mon ami, I cannot keep my face still. I have to dance. Wonderful music for a ball. I can't wait to hear them play this at the... That sounds beautiful. Lovely selection. Our musicians will remember the instruments you've chosen and get them ready for the ball. Why, all we need now is to choose the dance steps and then the ball can begin. Click on the dance floor to select the steps for the dance. <laughs> Let's... And now, mon ami, help create a dance for the master and bell. Just choose a tile and place it on the ballroom floor. Starting here. To have the master and bell step to the right, place the step tile to the right of the starts. For the master and bell to step to the left, place the step tile to the left of the start square. You get the idea? To have the master twirl bell in a circle, put this tile onto the dance floor. If you would like to have the master dip bell in a romantic fashion, put this tile onto the dance floor. I taught him this move myself. To make them spin in a circle, put this tile onto the dance floor. If you'd like the master and bell to fan out to the side, put this tile onto the dance floor. These moves take two, and these take only one. I'll let you know when you only have a few steps left. This banner will show you all the moves you have added to your dance. That way you can put more than one move on a tile, if you'd like, without losing track of what steps you are taking. If you decide you'd like to start over, just click on that irresistible feather duster to reset the dance floor. When you're finished, click here. What are you waiting for? It's time to make some magic happen on the dance floor. Excellent choice. What a brilliant move! Voila! You have completed the dance. I knew you could do it. What are you waiting for? It's time to make some magic happen on the dance. Return to the ball. Very nice choreography. Off we go to decorate the ballroom and dance in it. That was wonderful. The Beast has no idea we're planning a surprise party. Maybe we should go back to the foyer to see what else needs to be done. Click on the magic mirror to return to the foyer or click anywhere else to stay in the ballroom. Click on the magic mirror to go back to the foyer. If you'd like to return to the foyer, click on the mirror again. If you'd like to stay, click anywhere else. See you soon! Congratulations! We are all ready for the big surprise party. I knew you could do it. Now, click on the west wing to surprise the master. Thank you.
Belle the West Wing. Oh boy, here he comes, Mama. Keep it down, dear. Oh no, he'll hear you. Shh. Surprise! <laughs> A surprise party from me? So tell us, were you surprised? I never suspected a thing. Thank you. Just as I said all along, we could pull it off without a hitch. I thought you'd wake up when we were cooking, but Mama said you'd sleep right through it. Oh, now, Chip. <laughs> well, sir, there is a young lady here with a request. May I have the first dance? It would be my pleasure. And believe it or not, they lived happily ever after. Welcome back. Credits. Exit. The Garden Right. Credits. Look at everyone that helped make our surprise party a success. <laughs>